We're going to go over mid-segments of triangles. Um, so first of all, mid-segment of a triangle is a segment connecting the midpoint of two sides of the triangle. So in other words, on this picture, D is at the midpoint on the left side, E is at the midpoint on the right side, and our mid-segment is DE. It goes from midpoint to midpoint. The triangle mid-segment theorem says if a segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the segment is parallel to the third side and the segment is half as long. Okay, so what this says is obviously DE is a mid-segment. We looked at that in the last one. So if DE is a mid-segment, that tells us two different things. Then DE is parallel to AC. So in other words, this one is parallel to this one. And it also tells us that DE, the length of it, is equal to half the length of AC. All right, so in this example, it says that L, M, and N are midpoints of the sides of P, Q, R. P, R is 46. P, Q is 40. And L, N is 17. Find each measure. Okay, so for LM, LM is going to be parallel with this side. And remember that LM is going to be half of PR. Which means it's going to be half of 46, which is 23. All right, and then QR... is double of what it's parallel to. So it's 2 times LN, which LN is 17. So whenever you double it, it's 34. MN is here, which will be half of this one. So it's half of PQ which means that it is 20. And then MR is going to be half of QR, because remember these are mid-segments, which means that both of these are congruent. So it's half of QR, which we found QR to be 34, half of that is 17. So also MR is going to be the same as LN. All right, find the value of X. So we know that 7X is half of 17X minus 18. Or we know that because that's dealing with fractions, I don't want to. Um, so we know that this one, the right one, is going to be double that left one. So in other words, we have to multiply 7x in order for it to be the same as the 17x minus 18. That's a lot nicer math. 7 times 2 is 14x. Subtract 14x on both sides. 0 is equal to 3x minus 18. Add 18 to both sides. 18 is equal to 3x. Divide by 3. And that tells us that x is 6. Um, double that one. So 2 times 4x plus 1 will be the same as 11x minus 25. Distribute that 2. So 8x plus 2 is equal to 11x minus 25. Subtract 8x from both sides. 
2 is equal to 3x minus 25. Add 25 to both sides. 27 is equal to 3x. Divide by 3. And x is 9. Um, if I need to find DE, which is the case of this one, you do 4 times 9 plus 1. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 1 would be 37. This one again says um, that they're all mid-segments, so we have to find the perimeter of JKL. So it's easier if we deal with these x's first. So remember, you, um, the big one is going to be the same as double of the little one. Distribute that 2 to everything on the inside. Subtract 12x from both sides. Add 10 to both sides, and x is 8. So we need to figure out what kl is in order to figure out the perimeter. So that's 13 times 8 minus 10. So whenever you do 13 times 8 minus 10, you get 94 for this one. Okay, so that's only one of the sides. We need to do the other sides. So 49, if we double it, we get jl, which is 98. And then JK is double of 42, which is 84. So the perimeter of JKL is 94 plus 84 plus 98, which is 276. All right, find the value of X on this one. These angles are, remember that these are parallel lines up by a transversal so those are corresponding angles which means they are congruent know that unit will not ever go away you're going to have to remember it um sorry that was mr porter um you set these equal to each other and solve because they are corresponding angles subtract 7x from both sides 3x minus 11 is equal to 4 add 11 to both sides 3x is equal to 15, divide by 3, and x is 5. And then for this one, and these angles are not corresponding. So remember, these are parallel lines cut by a transversal. And these angles are consecutive interiors, so they are supplementary. We will need to add them together and set them equal to 180. So 6x plus 1 plus x plus 4 is equal to 180. Uh, 6x plus x is 7x. 1 plus 4 is 5. Subtract 5 on both sides. 7x is equal to 175. Divide by 7 on both sides. And x is 25. To find the measure of r... TV, so that's this one. I do x plus 4, so 25 plus 4. My measure of RTV is 29 degrees. All right, then one last one. Find the, all of the missing angles. All right, so we have parallel lines cut by this transversal. So we know that one and two will be the same. To find two, we know that these have to be supplementary. So to find the measure of angle two, you do 180 minus 127, which is 53. Um, then the measure of angle one is gonna be the same as the measure of angle two, which is 53. Okay, 
So I figured out those two. Now let's look at this transversal. So these two should be the same, which means the measure of angle four is going to be 59 degrees. And then these two together are supplementary. So the measure of angle five is 180 minus 59, which is 121. Okay, so now we're going to look at this. Um, where's a good color? This triangle right here. We know that 2 is 53 degrees. We know that 4 is 59 degrees. So to find the measure of angle 3, you do 180 minus 53 minus 59, which is 68 degrees. And that's the end of our notes.